What's up, crypto fam? Welcome back to another episode. If you guys are new here, we do a giveaway at the beginning of every single episode. And today's winner is Soup Miner. Congratulations, Soup. Thank you for commenting and liking and subscribing. If you guys wanna win on the next video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today I wanna to talk about a really exciting project called Mainframe. Mainframe is building a decentralized application platform. Specifically what I wanted to talk today about was Onyx, which is their first application and it is a Slack competitor. By competitor, I mean that it's going to eat Slack, essentially, by decentralizing a messaging platform on top of Mainframe, their network. It's a really exciting project and luckily enough, they actually presented at DevCon 3. So I'm going to show the clip of their demo of Onyx on top of the mainframe platform. They've been working closely with Swarm as well as PSS. So rockstar teams to create this messaging app called Onyx on top of the mainframe network. I wanna show this DevCon 3 demo mainly because it is like a hello world digital handshake between two users using a public key, which is very exciting and it's using these swarm nodes. So let's dive into their quick presentation at DevCon 3. So uh, each one of these instances connects to the swarm nodes using an RPC interface and maintains a local database of all the messaging protocol data that is sent or received over that interface. Uh, this data is then exposed uh, via GraphQL server and that data is used to feed the UI. As Carl said, just the uh, GraphQL server could be deployed in the cloud somewhere as a standalone service, so you could have like light, um, thin desktop and mobile clients. Okay, so uh, in order to start a conversation, uh, we're gonna need uh, the user's public key that we wanna talk to. So uh, this public key is used to encrypt all the messages that are sent to this user. So if we copy Carl's public key here, we can send him a contact request. Uh, now what's happened here is I don't know where Carl is on the network. Um, so I sent a broadcast out over the network with a payload that on can only be decrypted by Carl. Uh, containing my public key, my swarm address, and my profile, so he can see who's contacting him. But right now, I don't know anything about him, but if he accepts the contact request, his client will reciprocate this handshake, and we can start chatting. So what you've just seen here is the decentralized messaging hello world. Uh, to make it easier to add a context, we also have a mobile app that we can use to read the, the public keys from QR codes. So uh, what we're seeing on this screen here is a mirror of the display with a, of our connected iPhone here. And the iPhone can be used to hook into the GraphQL server that's uh, currently running inside these Electron apps. Um, so uh, in order to connect to the GraphQL server, we just need its IP address. And for convenience, we can get it from the profile. And now if Carl shows me his public key, we can scan it. And we should be able to start sending with some messages. And hey. And you can see that the data is mirrored between uh, both connected clients. Uh, so that's an example of the, the mobile app that we have. Uh, so now we also support group messaging with channels. So let's create a channel now to talk about uh, engineering. So we can select who we want in the channel. Um, now I'll explain a little about this privacy level. Uh, so this actually refers to how the routing is done inside the Swarm cluster. Uh, so the dark routing uses no recipient addresses, um, going back to what Lewis uh, talked about earlier. Um, and uh, this is useful for, uh, for providing plausible deniability of receipt for the true recipient and uh, disrupting potential surveillance. Whereas the direct routing is a more traditional, shortest path style routing. So one thing I want to add um, is that we're going to be adding you know, additional levels of darkness and, and configurability around this feature. But really right now, this is the only uh, group chat 
kind of platform that provides you with this, this sort of dark networking feature uh, that you get uh, b thanks to Swarm. Um, and you can also notice here that even though I wasn't connected to Adam, um, I know about him now from joining the channel. And if I want to make a direct connection, I can do it from here. Uh, now, at Mainframe, we've been working on rich messaging formats for a while now, and we've adapted some of our favorite features into our decentralized demo. Uh, so, uh, one of our favorite features is actually attaching action items to messages. So, we can do that using the action button on the input bar. Um, we also have real-time typing notifications that you can see down here. Um, we also support file uploads, and we've actually implemented this using the file, uh, Swarm file storage. So if we click the file upload button, select the file, it uploads the file into Swarm, and when the message is sent, we just send the Swarm hash of the file so that the clients can just use the, the Swarm uh, chunk requesting to, to get the file. Um, if we send an image attachment, uh, we actually just show it in line. Um, so this is just a sneak peek at some of the features that are going to be in our uh, decentralized messaging product. There are a few important features that Mainframe claims about their network. The first one being that your content is encrypted. So the only person that can open it is the person that has my public key and we have done that digital handshake. The second is dark rooting. So your content can't be tracked. The third is interoperability. The network can work anywhere. The fourth is that it's incentivized. So the network won't go down. The last key component is it's a peer-to-peer -peer architecture. So when you need your data to be stored on the network, it's actually fragmented out across the network. They also include on their website, which I like, that you can take that data offline in exchange for a fee. So the messaging app Onyx being built on top of mainframe and using these swarm nodes, completely decentralizing the way that people are communicating amongst each other is giving users a sense of responsibility as well as they know their data is being protected. I'm definitely going to be signing up for it. If you guys are interested, I'm gonna be putting the link in the description below to mainframe so you guys can see that as well as a link to the video. So you can watch the entire presentation from their DevCon 3 demo. That's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to slap a like. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next episode of Hack Crypto.